Welcome back, Captains, to another Infinite Galaxy video. This is Dragothian here, and today we're going to be going over the best crew members that you can slot in your configuration and your formation for your spaceport for account growth. Now, there's a bunch of different ways to do this um, when you're talking about battle, when you're talking about PvP, even PvE when you're doing um, you know, pirates and things like that. Repair speed's a big deal. Uh, but I want to go over this port portion of it's going to be for account growth. Now, what do you need for account growth really quick before we jump in? You need speed for constructing your spaceport. So building speed is a big deal. You need to be able to, with as minimal amount as possible, upgrade your tech. So research speed is a big deal. You also need to be building warships. And that basically means construction of warship speed needs to be improved heavily. The other thing that's alongside of the warships is also the amount that you can build as well. So um, there's a specific term in the game for that um, where it talks about increasing the limit that you can train at one time. So those are the things that you want to do to grow your account, grow the power of your account, be efficient with it without having to spend too many speed ups. And just the speed in general, the faster you're doing these things, the faster your account will grow. So there's six crew members here that I want to show you that will help you do all of those things the best way this game will be able to do it. So first off, number one is Laura. When you start the game, you have the ability to unlock her um, by doing just kind of a quick recharge, and it's very inexpensive to do. I would recommend doing it. You can also unlock Laura with your prestige points, unlocking crew members in general, but there seems to be a very low drop rate for just legendary crew members in general in this game. So getting lore early and being able to not only level her up with XP cards, but also unlocking what she does for you inside of your formation is critical. I think she's probably one of the best commanders or crew members in the game um, just based on account growth. What she does for you uh, is she's going to basically, if you go over the crew here, Top research speed, you need to make sure she's your deputy. Gives you a 20.4% research speed. That's obviously level eight. I've leveled her up quite a bit. Level one starts a lot lower than that, obviously, but the earlier you get her, the more you can start leveling her up. And again, leveling up her XP increases her stat points as well, which will go a long way into increasing even more your ability to grow your account faster. But this is the best one by far. This is my number one seed. Laura is a must have when you're growing your account. And this is a long-term thing, right? This account that we started, I wanna say almost three months ago, um, we're looking at it and it's about 15 million power. I think if I'd had no PVP, I might be in the mid twenties or so. And this is for the most part, generally free to play. I might've spent a few hundred bucks on the game altogether for resources more than anything else. Um, but as far as getting the commanders, uh, the crew members, and also the flagships, that hasn't been too, too bad. It's been mostly resources that I've had to purchase just because I want to keep going and I don't want to have my, my spaceport waiting to build things because of resources. So I've spent some money on those. But Laura, number one seed for crew member, must have her, her deputy skill. You need to make sure she's your deputy in your formation here. Go ahead and show you what that looks like right here in your spaceport crew formation deputy slot laura should be here for account growth okay so when we click her again that jumps us back into the list here that's my number one seed the next one i want to go over her name is robbie sunny nicholas now she pops up in the crew member uh special buy packs quite a bit but she also will pop up in the prestige point uh unlock system as well not as bad as getting a legendary in the uh, the chances, but still fairly low. Uh, we just saw a video yesterday where I unlocked about 25,000 prestige points worth of crew members and got two epics. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. And none of them were Robbie, Sonny, Nicholas. So um, she is going to give you something that's absolutely necessary, which is worship build speed at 9.3% on level nine. Again, starts a lot lower, but you wanna get her leveled up quickly. Again, building warship speed means you build warships faster, which means you raise your power faster, which means you can fill out your fleets faster, which means you can go ahead and get to the ships that you want and have those flagships filled with the right type of warships, which is very important 
in this game, especially in PvP. But not only that, as you're progressing through the game, doing all the events and doing all of the different um, pass unlocks and finally the Imperial City, you want to make sure you have top-notch fleets. This will help you do that, building warships faster. Robbie Sonny Nicholas is my best epic commander, certainly, for um, building your account and growing your account as fast as possible. All right, let's keep going down here and let's scroll down. And the blues are really where the value is at, believe it or not. Um, from an account growth standpoint, the blue crew members are some of the best ones that you can get. They're a lot easier to level up. Not only that, they're easier to unlock with the prestige points and just in general, it's better to have these guys on the lower totem pole so you can get them faster. So without further ado, we're going to go to our next one, which is LeBlanc Evans. I've got him level 10 right now. I, I have a ton of XP that I want to use on some of these guys. I tend to value using XP on the higher level commanders because they give you more stats. But I'm going to do a testing to see if um, putting the same amount of XP in a blue versus a legendary or a blue versus an epic is going to give you more value from a stat perspective. But for LeBlanc Evans... Rapid building, increasing warship build speed. Again, the stacks on top of Sunny Nichols as well. So um, you want to have both of these on your bar. Again, these are not advisor necessary. You can um, see here again with Robbie Nicholas here. If it was re uh, required to be an advisor, it would be over here on the right side and say advisor labeled. But that's not the case. So you can have these both on normal crew and get the bonuses for warship build speed again all the stacks and all of it is very 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 good okay next one next blue commander is going to be and i spoke about this one yesterday on the opening video karen barone she helps you with spaceship building q leadership limit this basically increases the amount of ships per q that you can build at one time now you'll see more value from this when you're building destroyers and frigates because that leadership limit increases the number quite a bit. On cruisers, not so much, uh, because again, you're usually sitting at about two or three cruisers at a time, depending on your research tech. Um, obviously that will go up the better tech you get, and then obviously the better uh, advanced you get on Karen Barone, that will help as well. Maybe opening up that fourth spot for a cruiser on each one of your different um, building slots. And again, this is a must have. It doesn't necessarily help you with the speed of it, but it does help you just kind of get more and more as you level up. You can go ahead and just set it and forget it. This is going to help you level up your power more and certainly get more ships out. Next one, number four, number five, that was number four. Number five is going to be Oliviera Kudro. Now, She's another harder one to get. As you can see, I've only got her level six. Karen Barone's level six. And LeBlanc Evans is only level four. These seem to drop a lot less than, say, um, Shrek Wagner, which is a rapid miner. Uh, this one with rapid recoil, the damage one. We got Deep Planet Development, level seven. They just seem to drop a little less, um, which is interesting. <laughs> but uh, this one's going to give you spaceport construction speed. And it's not too high at 5.3%, but every little bit helps, guys. Every little bit helps. And especially when you're talking about going after, say, a Galaxy Star event or any of the events in the game that reward you for getting top slot in the, in the Nebula for um, construction speed minutes used or um, power gained from construction or, in, with Laura's case, research gained um, power. You want to get as much buffs to those things as possible so that you can get the best value for your buck when it goes into the game um, with time and uh, the resources that you're spending because at the end of the day <laughs> this game is very heavily um, leaning towards needing resources big time you need a lot of resources to continue leveling at the top levels of this game but then also time guys it, you know this the the research uh, speed ups the building speed ups all the speed ups in this game are very very um limited i would say um again you want to get those as, as often as possible it's almost better to use corium to level up speed wise versus the speed ups because the speed ups are a lot harder to come by than corium is so um using a, a, a crew member here like olivier Kudro is definitely good to have in your stable on your formation as well that five percent goes a long way and finally we've got one more i want to go over and that is kobayakawa kobayakawa 
I'm not sure exactly if I'm saying that right. However, again, level four, I wish I had him higher, but he's just not dropping as much as some of the other blue commanders. But what he does for you is increase research speed further. Again, stacking with Laura, okay? So Laura has quite a significant research speed. Kabayakawa also adds on to that for more research speed. You want to have these guys in your stable on your formation. So when we go back here, I'm in, I'm almost always in account growth mode. We've been in PvP quite a bit throughout the Nebula's life. Uh, again, we're coming up to the end here with the Imperial City and then starting to really kind of gear up for the next phases of the game. But right now, I'm, I'm basically in growth mode. I've got a few things for weapon damages and things like that, but... We just talked about it, Laura, we talked about LeBlanc Evans, we talked about Robbie Sonny Nicholas, we talked about Karen Barone, we talked about Kobaya Kawa. We've got all these guys on the list here, and um, even Oliviera Kudrow right there. So, I mean, we've got everybody that we just talked about on my formation because I need these guys helping me grow as fast as possible. Now, we've got other unlocks here at level 30, which is going to be a ways away. I'm at level 23, I think, and starting to level up some of the other stuff with the Defense Center, Research Center, get those level 23s so that I can go further down the research path right now. I'm unlocking tier eight, tier eight warships, which are crazy. I'm building those uh, warships as fast as I possibly can to get my fleets all up and running. But I hope the video has been helpful, guys. This is the setup you need for growth on your account. You need to make sure you have Laura, you need to make sure that you have uh, LeBlanc Evans, uh, Robbie Sonny Nicholas, Olivier Eric Houdreau, Karen Barone, and Kobaya Kawa. Those are going to be the ones that are going to be the best stats for growth in this game. And as long as you've kind of locked down the nebula as far as being where you need to be from a territory standpoint, this is where the majority of my resources are going to start going now that we've got that kind of done. The rest of the nebula is in good shape. They're all together with us. And we're all together leading this nebula into, again, the next phases of the game when they come. So looking forward to leveling these guys up for you and showing you the benefits. These are the stats, again, that you want to be leveling up with them. Choose wisely um, when you're using your uh, XP tomes for your commanders there. So uh, things like energy recovery, uh, research speed here is one I went heavily into. I want to go heavily into spaceport construction speed as well and get another 12%. That'd be very nice. Navigation speed for PvP is also very nice. Tech, the tech one is very good as well. Uh, right here, spaceship building queue leadership limit. We want to level that up as much as possible. That is what um, I believe that was Karen Barone, what she also offers. You want to stack all that stuff up on top of each other so you're getting the maximum benefits. Hope the video has been helpful. I will see you guys next time. Cheers, have a good one, and take care.